they need something in the in the midfield. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, something to clarify about Arsenal strategy for 2024, but also Martin Subimendi, keep an eye on that boy, and also Joao Neves. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, I wanted to start with Arsenal today because there is a lot of talks, obviously, about Arsenal for the January transfer window, looking probably for a midfielder for the injury of Thomas Party. They need something in the, in the midfield. Uh, and uh, we know, I told you multiple times, the top target is Douglas Lewis from Aston Villa. There is nothing with Ruben Neves despite rumours, but for Douglas Lewis, from my understanding, is not an easy deal. Arsenal will try, Arsenal will dream of him, but it's not something concrete. So let's see. Uh, what's going to happen because it's not an easy negotiation with Aston Villa at all. But also, guys, about Arsenal, they will complete the first signing for 2024 and will be David Raya. Yes, because David Raya had to join Arsenal on a permanent transfer. Then what happened is that because of the financial fair play situation, Brentford accepted to complete a deal on loan with a buy option for uh, David Raya in the final days, in the final weeks of August for the Spanish goalkeeper. And so what happened is that Arsenal have this buy option um, to be triggered in 2024. They will trigger the buy option. The decision has been made. It's £27 million from what I told. They already paid a part in terms of loan fee. They cover his salary for this season, of course, and they will pay £27 million. So it's guaranteed. It's for sure. Also important to say, from my understanding, that uh, David Rai already signed the contract to join Arsenal on a permanent transfer. So the deal is going to happen in 2024 and David Raya will be Arsenal goalkeeper for the present and for the future. So the first signing for 2024 will be formally David Raya, no doubts on that. Also, also guys, important uh, to mention that there are opportunities around Europe and the player that also Arsenal really appreciate is Martin Subimendi, midfielder of Real Sociedad. This is a special story because Martin Zubimendi is in love with Real Sociedad as a club. He really feels the value of the shirt, the club, the history of the club. And so the idea of Subimendi has always been to stay at Real Sociedad, despite the interest of many clubs in the recent years, including Arsenal, including Barcelona. He always wanted to stay at Real Sociedad and also play Champions League there, and they are doing fantastic. So credits to Subimendi and credits to Real Sociedad for what they are doing, especially also in the Champions League. But, but for 2024, I don't think for January it's going to be difficult, but for the summer, some clubs will return. Let's see what Arsenal will do in January. As I told you, Douglas Lewis remains the priority in that position, but Zubimendi has always been appreciated by the club. For Barcelona manager Xavi, Zubimendi is considered uh, like the next Busquets. So if Xavi had to, ch to choose one midfielder for the future, it was already Zubimendi last summer, but Zubimendi didn't want to leave and was also very expensive. He remains expensive because there is a release clause for 60 million euros for Zubimendi, but Barca are still this discussing his name internally for the summer, not for January to replace Gavi, it's impossible financially, but for the summer, Zubimendi is one of the names that they're watching because Xavi is a big fan of this boy. So let's see what's going to happen there. And let's see what's going to happen with Joao Neves. I told you guys with an analysis of information a couple of weeks ago that May United scouts have been around to follow this boy, talented midfielder from Benfica. The position I got from Benfica side is that they don't want to negotiate in January for Joao Neves. No intention to negotiate, no intention to sell him. The only way is the release close, the same as Enzo Fernandez one year ago, 120 million euros for Joao Neves. This is the new release close. It was agreed three or four months ago when he extended the contract and signed the new deal with an increased salary. And so difficult deal for January, but for the future, Joao Neves is one to watch and many United scouts were in the stands multiple times, but also other clubs are keeping an eye on him. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, including Joao Neves, including David Raya, and including Martin Subimendi. I wait for you in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon, with Fabrizio. Ciao.